मार्सियो बारबोजा वर्सेस आरिफ आर्टम जॉन ब्रजिंक वर्सेस कोरी वेस्ट एंड जॉन ब्रजिंक वर्सेस आर्सन लेलियव दीज आर द थ्री टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो वेलकम टू द वीडियो आम रेसलिंग फैंस एम प्रदीप फ्रॉम आम रेसलिंग न्यूज सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट ईस्ट वर्सेज वेस्ट फोर अपडेट द इवेंट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन ऑगस्ट सिक्स इन इस्तानबुल टर्की so after king of the table 4 marcio barboza updated us that he has been injured in the match against irakli zirakashvili and engin terzi posted on his youtube and facebook page that marcio barboza is now out of east versus west 4 and his match against arif artem the super heavyweight waf right handed champion from turkey his match against arif has been cancelled so this was the update i think the perfect the perfect opponent for arif could have been cory west but cory west i have heard he is not ready to compete at east versus west 4 he will be there at east versus west 5 potentially so let's talk about the second topic monster factory free youtube event so in the midst of king of the table and east versus west we should never forget this awesome awesome event the event is going to be on july 9th at michael todd's place on michael todd's channel free to watch and the matches are going to be as follows john brzink versus cory west cory west was slightly injured against alex kurdecha in the pectoral area and this is why he stopped pulling after 3 rounds after he lost 3-0 against alex kurdecha so hoping just hoping that his injuries are healed up when he goes against john brzink on july 9th this should be an awesome match i don't think that john brzink can top roll cory west and inside a hook yes john brzink was able to stop cory west at the practice table more than a year ago but cory has leveled up many times since that practice pull so i was having cory west as a heavy favorite in this match just because of his explosivity and size and maybe the injury can have some effect in this match but If Cory West is healed I would still support him to win this match. Paul Lynn versus BJ Fokakis both of them are winners from the previous Monster Factory pay-per-view event. They are going to go against each other. Paul Lynn used to be a knuckle high posting top roller. Right now he has switched to more of a inside hook based style arm wrestling versus BJ Fokakis who is a top roller. Craig Tulia versus Roger Kanigam. Hook versus hook battle. Experienced veteran arm wrestler versus youth. Going to be an amazing match. Pavlo Derbedianev versus Paul Talbot left-handed super match again again definitely going to be a war Paul is great left-handed we have all seen that and Pavlo another amazing arm wrestler yes he lost to Lachlan Adair recently but Lachlan is also a beast Pavlo versus Eric Gerlach I have never heard about Eric so I cannot comment much on this match right-handed super match so July 9th free to watch Monster Michael Thoughts YouTube channel live stream I'm expecting or I'm hoping that if somehow the live stream gets 30000 live viewers how amazing that would be so let's get to the next topic engin terzi made some interesting posts on his youtube and also facebook page we are going to talk about the posts on youtube page so the first post was about a photo of him with john brzink and arsen liliev from 2010 so engin must have already been thinking about this match that is why he posted that match or maybe he was in already in conversation with arsen liliev and john brzink as well so then engin shared a whatsapp chat with arsen liliev where he was inviting arsen for the east versus west 4 event not as a competitor but as a guest then engin shared a poll that would you like to see a comeback of arsen liliev and 82% people said yes i want to know who these 18% are Why would you not like to see anyone come back in arm wrestling? If he is competing, then just don't watch. If you don't like him, <laughs> why would you say that you do not want to see that guy again on the table? So another post: Life is full of surprises. Who knows? Someday, maybe again. I can't promise, but I have potential to cause such thing happen again. Of course, talking about the famous John Brzink versus Arsen Liliev match. the match was won by arsen liliev and then another post arsen said he will start training very soon and he already started to do cardio do you think he has chance to become the best under 110 kg of course i voted as no because arsen was never a 110 kg guy he was more like 90 kilos i think 95 kilos maximum and yes at that time he was the best i could have said that that he could have been the best at 110 kg but right now after so long of a break i don't think 
Arsen or anybody can come back to this level after such a long break. Anyways, it would be interesting to see. Arsen was one of the most, if not the most, explosive arm wrestler in the world. When anybody asked if you could just mutate any arm wrestler of your choice, like take the arms from someone, biceps from someone, I used to say only one thing, that you just need to attach two things from different arm wrestlers. Explosivity of Arsene Liliev and par the arm of Denis Siplenkov. That's it. And you have the perfect arm wrestler that just cannot be beaten. Arsene Liliev was one of my favorites. The way he just did that explosive, almost falling back kind of top role against Richard Lepkes, against many legends and defeated all of them. He is an amazing arm wrestler. If this match happens somewhere in the first part of next year, I would love to see that. Please tell me your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you and we'll see you again.